going on viewers and Gravity Falls fans and welcome to Stoker and Gaming. It's that time of the week. Once again, Gravity Falls is back this time with Season 2, Episode 13. Dungeons, Dungeons, and more Dungeons. And by God, I really love this episode. Screw last week's for some of the plot lines, man. This episode right here had it all. It had plot, it had comedy, and it had just moments of it own shitting itself. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, spoiler warning as always, I'm talking about the parts where it was kind of almost a self-aware moment when Gravity Falls was kind of looking at Detective and saying, oh my gosh, it was his twin brother all along. Oh my gosh, this is stupid and things like that. It was funny because it made the episode feel so self-aware in certain parts like that because Gravity Falls is kind of hating on itself but joking on itself for specific reasons. But still, obviously, as you guys know, the trends continue from last week's episode, basically after the part that we saw Dipper and Mabel talking to each other, and Mabel basically saying they feel like they're growing more apart. This was very, very coherent. In this episode, as we saw Dipper and Stanford are more alike than Dipper and Mabel, and Mabel and Stanley are more alike than Mabel and Dipper, and we saw that throughout the entire episode. And it was kind of funny, because there were a lot of good moments, especially with Dipper and Ford, and I gotta say I love the entire part, especially when they were playing that Dungeons and Dragons ripoff game, Dungeons, Dungeons and More Dungeons, especially talking about the part with the 90s, it was just freaking hilarious. There were just references everywhere, and even the Infinity Die, which played a role in this episode, kind of led more into the part of where actual Ford went, and it's kind of interesting because he says he's been all around these different places, and this dice right here is outlawed in so many areas, and it's kind of interesting because it kind of plays more to the part of the multiverse being a thing, as you guys might remember back during season one or season two, whatever one it was, when we had that little Rick and Morty crossover bit with the pen and the actual mug going through the portal, obviously it was just animation in terms of both studios want to do something like that, but it still leads to the fact that everything is together in a multiverse. And I gotta say, it worked really well. But as you guys know, obviously, the best parts in this episode had to go to the live-action role-playing. And I gotta say, that was funny in general with Seuss and just the entire parts, along with the parts with... That stupid wizard voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. I gotta say, I loved it all together. It was hilarious. And Stan, I, I knew it. For, like, just watching, I knew he had a cheat. I knew he either waited the die or just threw it on a part that he knew where it was gonna land. Because Stan is a cheater, he's a con artist, and he gotta love it. But still, guys, as you guys see, we're here with the last part, aka the codes itself. The first one being XLC whatever. Code being, or sorry, the key is Radmaster. And the second thing we have right here for the final end credits cipher reads out to be fun and games are great distractions, but small things can have chain reactions. I gotta say it was great. And last but not least, guys, I do have to touch upon the part of the actual leak into Fabric of Reality that Ford talked with Dipper at the end. It's kind of interesting because more than likely it's gonna play a major role later on in this actual series. Until next time, guys, what did you guys think of the episode? I loved it because it was great. I love my guys. Peace out. Have a great day as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye.